You ain't going to believe this. You used to fit right here. I used to hold you up and say to your mother, this kid is going to be the best kid in the world. This kid is going to be better than anyone I ever knew. And you grew good and wonderful. It was great just watching you every day was like a privilege. Till the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world. And you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. And I don't care how tough you are, it'll beat you down to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, nobody can hit as hard as life. But it's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. If you know what you're worth, go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits without pointing fingers saying, you ain't where you wanna be because of him, her, or anyone. Cowards do that, and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm always gonna love you, no matter what. No matter what happens, you're my son, you're my blood, and you're the best thing in my life. But until you start believing in yourself, you ain't gonna have a life. Don't forget to visit your mother. When I was a boy, about five years old, right before my sister was born, my mother had taken me to see a play that my father was in, a play called A Raisin in the Sun. It was in a little theater at the time called the Henry Street Theater. And we had arrived about 10 minutes late. And the employee that inspected our tickets asked if we wouldn't mind sitting in the mezzanine. He said that if we sat in the front row reserved seat, we might disturb the performance. Thinking back, mother probably only agreed because she was partial to sitting in the mezzanine, especially when watching her husband. My father played the lead, Walter Lee. I didn't even know people could turn into other people. I just didn't see things that way. Everything he said, I thought somehow was related to me. For years, I thought my father wanted me to act like him, to be a black actor. Danny Glover, Sidney Poitier, Morgan Freeman, just like my dad. But I was never black enough. My dad died last year. Only then did I realize how ignorant I was, the lack of credit I had given my father. My dad was a black actor, but he wanted me to take things one step further. He wanted me to be an actor, just an actor. That's what he meant when he said proud. 